I'm Yardar, and this is The Catch. Today we're in Bremen, Maine, and when we hear Maine, we think of lobsters. With lobsters at historically high prices, we're gonna go out with Captain Fernie Poland on his boat, the Sandy Bottom. We're gonna look into just why lobsters are so expensive right now. The United States produces 130 million pounds of lobsters every year. 105 million of those come from Maine. Canada produces another 200 million pounds. That sounds like a lot of lobster. We got the call from Fernie this morning that there's a nice little weather window. So we've been waiting two days to get out and today we're finally gonna go. Fernie hopes we can get in a half a day of fishing. So what would you expect a good day today to look like? Uh, we can get the day in, six on the air, 100 pounds drop and a good day up the hill. So the, the big limitation this time of year is, is the weather really, right? Yeah, drink the weather, the water's cold, so the lobsters don't curl as well as when it's cold the water. So how long do you soak a trap for now? Weather, weather permitting, it's a minimum of a week. In a best case situation, if you could get out every day, you'd haul 100 traps a day. No, I would haul, I can't haul as many as I used to, but anywhere between two and 300, depending on the day. From, from my end, as, a, as someone who sells them, I mean, the, the price is, is painful right now. China is a huge consumer of lobsters. They buy up to 30 million pounds a year. Those are flown there by air freight live. Seven to eight dedicated cargo flights every week out of Halifax Airport that fly directly to China. These flights carry about 200,000 pounds of product on each plane. The story of the high lobster price goes back to the pandemic. When the first shutdown happened, all the suppliers, everybody holding inventory panicked. Nobody knew what was gonna happen and everybody wanted to go to cash. So all those lobsters that were held in inventory hit the spot market and the price crashed. And that was great for a little while. I remember selling lobsters for, for $7 a pound, uh, making a full margin on that, and the customers were happy because it was really cheap. But the problem now is that the, there is no storage, there is no inventory, and the only thing we have is the lobsters being caught today to help determine that price. We're out at the mouth of Muscungus Bay. Phil has to get the deck ready before Fernie gets to the first trap. There's a three foot swell rolling under the boat now, and the sandy bottom's only 34 feet long, so it makes for an unstable platform. As long as it doesn't get any worse, we can get in some work. Another blank. So that's our fourth trap, and we've got nothing so far. Yep. Now you know what price is 12 bucks a pound. The water's got some cold here then. What do, you, what do you think the water temperature is right now? Uh, on the air, it's probably around 36. They're hibernating at that temperature. Fernie and Phil have been working for about an hour and a half now, and we haven't caught one keeper yet. And it's starting to get a little bit rougher. You know, three to four feet. So we're just going to keep going until the weather tells us to go in. Basically, yeah. All right, we got one finally. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, two. There's a pair in there. Looks a little small. There's an egg Oh, that's an agar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's see that. So there, this this lobster has eggs. So this has to be returned. Now, does that have to be V-notch, yeah. too? Yeah. So the purpose of V-notching is that after this lobster lets go of its eggs, it's, it may have a chance to produce eggs one more time before it molts. Is that right? Oh, she's out to be her whole life just producing eggs. Oh, so once this is V-notched, she'll never be caught again. So this. Oh, will yeah, be... no, she'll be caught again, but don't mean... But it'll never be kept. So by, by cutting that notch in the shell, this lobster is being marked. No one can legally take this lobster and sell it. So this is going to be an egg producer for the rest of her life. It fertilizes inside, and then it holds the eggs here for protection. She'll carry these here for several months, and then finally lets the larva go. Look at the coloring on that. It's beautiful. Undersized lobsters yeah. need to be returned to the water. Undersized. Be out here. You got to at least catch one. Uh, it's got four. We got a couple. I just got a couple pounders in this one. Nice male, hot, beautiful. A cull is a lobster with one claw. Culls are processed, but prices are too high to profitably freeze tails. This whole lobster will be cooked and picked for meat. Since they only yield 20 percent, the net cost for meat is now over 70 dollars per pound to the processor. Get one more. 
probably a good solid 20 knots right now. We're not seeing the texture of it just yet. It just started blowing, but it's going to get ugly real soon. You know, normally, we're trying to make sure there's somebody else out here with us. Yeah. You know, that we ain't out here alone in case something does happen. Yeah, the wind's really starting to blow now. So this trip turned out to be a total bust. They've got five lobsters, weighs maybe seven, eight pounds. They'll get uh, not even a hundred bucks for that. It barely pays for the fuel. When, when the water is this cold, the lobsters just don't move. It's no inventory on land to, to fill the demand that's out there. So the price is gonna be high and it's gonna stay high. All of these factors combined contribute to the high price. It will take at least another year for things to get back to normal. So don't get mad at your fishmonger or restaurateur. They are struggling with these prices also. Instead, be happy knowing that these hardworking lobster men and women will be making a fair rate of pay for the near future. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to taking you on my next commercial fishing trip.